Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm just going to make a quick update on my JS Films mocap helmet solution for MetaHuman Animator. Now, first things first, for everyone who's purchased my mocap helmet so far, I just want to say thank you very much. It was such a long shot, but I'm glad that I'm actually getting a lot of positive feedback from this helmet. Uh, that being said, what I'm going to do in this video right now is just kind of go over some accessories that you can get with your mocap helmet. Uh, additionally, just talk about it overall. As you all know, I've been testing it with the MediHuman Animator and surprisingly, it works actually really well with an iPhone 12 mini, which is really, really cheap. I know I've been getting a lot of questions about accessories. So what I'm going to do is I'll put the link in the description below on the stuff that I'm using right now. Additionally, some people were surprised that they were getting the entire helmet for the price. They thought that I was only selling the bracket without the helmet. Uh, no, whenever you're purchasing this, read the description because it's very important to know what you're getting. But additionally, as far as the size goes, you have to make sure that you're getting the proper size. So the first thing you're going to notice that's different with my rig is that I added some LED strip lights, which looks a lot better. Uh, but just make sure that before you actually uh, stick it to your helmet that these right here, the actual LED lights work because I've had it that I have it before that I install the strip lights only to find out that this right here doesn't work, the actual switch. Uh, it is cheaply made, unfortunately, but if you can get one that works, it's working pretty nicely. Uh, so whenever you purchase this, make sure you, you install the battery, take the paper out, turn it on first before you put it on your mocap helmet so you don't have to keep removing it. Uh, the next thing you're going to want is obviously a phone holder right here. It does not come with a phone holder. I'll put the link again. There's a lot of this right here. This is a common, I mean, with everybody making videos now on their cell phone, this is a really common accessory here. You can get one for like 6 to $9. The next thing that you're going to see changed is the counterweight system in the back. You're going to see that actually have a bigger pouch right here. Because what this is going to let you do is just buy gimbal counterweights and you can stick these gimbal counterweights in the back. It's a lot bigger. And additionally, you can even put, you know, Scooby Snacks in there if you want. But I can just get a, a bunch of these, which again, available everywhere, gimbal counterweights. This is 200 grams. And I'll just stick it in the back right here. And then close it. And I have my counterweight right there. Additionally, it's secured because you can actually screw in this back pouch right here in the back. If you are installing a back pouch right here, just put your finger inside before you unscrew this because something is going to fall out. So before you install this, look inside to see where it's connected and put your finger in there and just hold it and then unscrew it for and then unscrew it. So that's pretty much the changes that I made on my actual rig. So far, I've been selling a one size fit most mocap helmet. But I am currently testing a mocap helmet that is adjustable. Now, unfortunately, I'm still debating on this because if I end up selling an adjustable mocap helmet, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because A, they don't make these helmets that much, and B, they are expensive, more expensive than what I'm using right now. But what this is actually going to let you do is there is a knob in the back that's going to let you adjust the head tightness on your head because like I said with this one size fit most the hardest part is trying to get it to fit like you've seen me wear a beanie inside because that keeps it really nice and stable with the adjustable helmet depending on your head size you might not even need to wear a beanie but again for my head since I have a small head even though I do have this adjustable knob right here that tightens it up I still have to wear a beanie inside so that it doesn't slide in and out uh, I did notice that some of the female talents that I've worked with so far with my mocap helmet, uh, the adjustable size one actually fits them a lot better than the one size fit most. So just, uh, just something to kind of keep an eye out for. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in this right here. So far, I only have like seven of the adjustable helmet, actually six, because I'm going to be selling one to a UK buyer. Um, let me know in the comments below if you would like for me to continue on with the adjustable one. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit more, um, I'll put the price whenever that's kind of up and available, but this is what it looks like. It's got some up upgraded padding as well. Now the paddings might change because depending, again, they don't make these helmets a lot. What's cool about it is I'll take a picture of the actual item before I start selling the adjustable one. So yeah, that's that. That's pretty much it for this video. Check out the link in the description below for the Amazon and eBay link.